Yo, what is good, YouTube? And welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we are going to be doing gameplay with the brand new Galaxy Opal John Havlicek. I truly believe Hondo is going to be one of the best shooting guards in the game, especially when it comes to pure shot creation ability. He is looking absolutely phenomenal, and I'm really excited to try the card out. The question, in all honesty, with Hondo is how good are his SIGs really at a top tier? And can he move well enough as well defend as well as defend well enough at six foot five to truly be a top tier shooting guard? Question is where does he rank compared to the best of the best at that position? It'll be interesting to see. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Help me push towards the twenty five thousand subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day. Tons of consistent daily my team content. Would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. Let's check out uh, what Hondo can do. So John Havlicek is six five. So yes, he's kind of small at shooting guard. Kind of wish you could play point guard, but that ain't at all. Offense, 99 defense with a 97 mid range and a 97 three ball, 90 driving dunk, 80 standing dunk, 88 ball handle, 85 block, 95 steel, 98 perimeter, 95 interior, phenomenal defensively, 94 speed, speed ball, and excel, 95 vert, 92 strength, 97 lateral quickness. This card is souped. Oh my goodness, they really juiced him. 27 also include fast twitch, agent three, post riser, limitless range, handles for days, anchor clamps, glove interceptor, post lockdown, precision dunker, blow by speed booster, red to gripper at 94 feet. He is really souped. Does he have a movable enforcer? That is the question. The answer is no, he does not so that's a little disappointing badges that he doesn't come with is basically brick wall that's about it add that and he has everything else that's important wish you could get a movable enforcer i mean i wish he had it but it is what it is you can kind of live with it i think he's going to be a dog regardless now i want to see what his sigs are looking like how he's moving all that type of stuff uh and that we're definitely going to find out here i heard his hezzy isn't great which is not ideal but ooh, nice behind the back very nice behind the back drag back is looking half decent escape is definitely looking elite what a escape does he have it's definitely one of the fastest escapes in the game it looks like he's got Kyrie dribble style as well oh my goodness um I don't know how to spam the escape the way that some of these dudes can spam this escape but he moves really well release wow that is fast oh my goodness that release gets up there too okay hold on that release is like really really fast I gotta turn on shot feedback to make sure I have that right but that release feels like stupid fast yeah no that's one of the fastest releases in the game he legitimately gets it up there at a level like very few cards speed wise do so his three hunting ability is really really good question is uh same side has he he doesn't have a good same side has he does he ah you're gonna have to go diagonally up i think to trigger his same side has he consistently which is not ideal obviously so that's a little unfortunate but outside of that i'm not really seeing any flaws he looks super duper souped and honestly even movement wise like fade is top tier as well he's about as good as it gets at the shooting guard position this card is going to be absolutely elite and i'm really excited to try him out let's hop into a game let's check out what hondo can do all right, our opponent is AW the President. I've played this dude in so many different gameplays and videos and streams, and I've played this dude a ton. He's also a 2K content creator, but he's got a very good team. Uh, Luca, Gerald Wallace, James Worthy, um, Hito, and Wimby, Pink Diamond Wimby. So very good squad, though. Should be a fun matchup here. Let's see what we can do, obviously, with uh, Mr. Hondo matched up. That's a great steal first possession. He's matched up with Gerald Wallace, who's one of the better defensive cards in the entire game. So not exactly going to be what I would consider an easy matchup by any means. But I do think he's going to move, be able to do a lot of things well. That Kyrie dribble style is so nice. And his fade gets up. Oh, my gosh. Didn't green it there. But his fade gets up so nice and so quick. That is one of the smoothest fades in the game. He's got Kobe's fade, by the way. And it, I mean, it's looking phenomenal so far. Terrible shot selection. You are trolling with that. You got so lucky to honestly get the ball back even right there, honestly. Because that was really poor offense. And unfortunately, Wilt jumps right past him, gives up a blinder shot, and he takes a two to nothing lead. So uh, the one thing about this card is the lack of the uh, same side Hezzy. But outside of that, I mean, there is nothing here that doesn't say elite level shot creator. Dump down to Wilt should be a standing. He does get a standing. Beautiful job. He's got inside position there. When Wilt has inside position, it pretty much is an automatic dunk every single time. So very nice job there. Uh, now, Okay, you got to defend. We're going to hedge here a little bit with Hondo and then get back. Very nice. That's a bad shot. No chance that one goes down. And let's run the floor again. Throw it over to Cade. Up to Hondo. Catch in transition. We're going to go behind the back. Drag it back. I could have low-key. I had a shot, too. We're going to get another one, though. It's all right. Um, somebody come set me one, please. Set a good screen. Let's burst here. See if we can. Uh, my, my animations are not very good this game. I'm playing really poorly, I feel like, as a dribbler. But reset it. Wimby is not really going to be able to stick me, I don't think. Um, back door here. Get behind Wimby Yama. Nice standing. Nice catch and dunk. He's athletic, man. He can kind of do everything. I just, I don't feel like I'm dribbling all that well. Not creating as much space as I'd like. It can be tough to create space three hunting in this game at times. But that's pretty good. And you know what? He does wide open, apparently. I thought that was pretty good defense, but apparently not. And we get ourselves a win. Strange game, honestly. 
I guess let's hop into one more. Let's get a little more gameplay with John Havlicek. All right, our opponent is JD Swag, who has Kyrie, Michael Cooper, Chris Middleton, KP, and MPJ. Not a bad squad, not an insane team either. Um, definitely a good team, though. Should be an interesting matchup. Going to be intrigued to see how well Hondo does against an absolutely elite level defender like a Michael Cooper, who is definitely one of the better perimeter defensive fours in the game. Or, sorry, twos in the game. That was a wide open shot that I didn't shoot. But you know what? I'm still wide open. So we'll shoot that one and we green it. Beautiful stuff. And that is John Havlicek showing off some elite level shot creation. Kemba escaped, got the SIGs, got the behind the back. He's looking soup so far. There's no doubt about it. So, SIGs wise, this card's tough. Great behind the back, great escape. Uh, Kyrie dribble style. Like everything you would want except for that same side Hezzy, basically. I don't understand why 2K gave a bunch of the cards today. Tyrus Thomas, a bunch of these guys got this garbage same side Hezzy, but uh, I don't totally understand why that is at the same time. Everything else about Honda is looking soup so far, to be honest. He is looking like a great, great option at the, uh, at the, uh, two guard spot especially as like a primary ball handling too who does a lot of a good amount of versatility there for sure um let's throw the ball into honda let's see what he can do on the offensive end of the court with the ball in his hands need a good big screen out of wilt here if i could get one here uh michael cooper is hacking me a little bit so gonna need to get him to touch a screen and he don't want to touch screens okay and he's not touching any screens and i'm just getting off balled so you know what we're gonna do we're gonna i was gonna try to get him stuck i'm gonna try to come off this screen shoot a fade he steps high that's actually really good defense and nobody's really open Spacing is not great, but you know what? We got a good look, and we'll take the back door to James Worthy. It wasn't awesome offense. That switch was actually really effective, and Moses wasn't really in a great spot. But good bump by Cade. Hondo with the steal. Drag it back. Escape here. Drag back again. Uh, I just, oh, not being able to same side burst is so lame, bro. Get inside. Oh, he's going to get blocked because he's gassed. He's kind of blinking there. That's tough. I mean, the card's playing well for sure. It's just... I don't know. His SIGs in both these games, like not having a same side burst is probably one of my biggest like pet peeves at this point about cards. Not having a good same side Hezzy. Because it is really annoying trying to remember to do it diagonally up every single time. But I also need to be more intentional about that, about remembering that uh, at the end of the day. Uh, but it can be tough to remember for sure. But at the same time, he's looking really solid defensively. His release is looking like cash. Kemba escape obviously means he's got really good movement and then he's a versatile elite defender who's doing a lot of things well. Get active on Michael Cooper. Make him work. That could be easily have been a steal as well. But stay in front. We're good. Wall this up kp should not finish that wilt is amazing defensively and he doesn't finish it shot clock violation love to see it um seven to two lead right now hasn't been our best offensive game in either of these two games really but very very solid so far we're going to pick and pop here then we'll hit the ball automatically into hondo's hand off of the pick and pop pretty much is kind of the plan if we can draw like a little bit of defensive attention we kind of can i should have shot it i'm gonna be honest my bad but let's see what we can do here. Drag it back. Somebody come set me a good screen. Very nice. And I get plucked by MPJ. It's all right. Um, we're going to relax. Chill. Get in front. Blinders. Three ball. Yeah, I got to load up. Game. And then MPJ is out rebounding like... This card is good, man, but he's not quite as great as I'd like, man. If he had a better same side Hezzy, that'd be like the one thing that would really elevate him as a card. He, I don't think with the, with the at 6'5", I don't think he's that insane at shooting guard, but he's definitely a good card. I don't think I've utilized him as well as I definitely could have in this game, but he's showing me some things for sure still. Oh my God. This Hondo card, is, he's tough, man. I'm not going to lie. He's doing some things. There have been some possessions here that have been very impressive. That was one of them right there. Love to see it. He's a top-tier small for shooting guard option for sure, at least on the offensive end of the court. He just has that one flaw with the same side, Hezzy. And then defensively, he does compete, and he does a lot of things really well. Like, he's a very good card, um, and I'm very impressed, honestly. Definitely enjoying this gameplay. That's a foul, and I think that might be a quit. Oh, no, I guess not. Um, he's calling timeout. I don't know what he's calling timeout for. I don't know if there's much he can do at this point to redeem himself. The game's kind of over, so I think we're going to call the gameplay there. Eight points, one assist, three of five, two of three from three in that game. First game also wasn't insane, but was definitely a very solid performance, so I thought in both those games. Hondo looked good. I don't love the lack of a same side Hezzy, especially as a primary ball handler, but outside of that, he's an incredible card. Definitely one of the best in the game, so hope y'all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon, and I appreciate y'all. Peace!